Hey, I'm, today I'm going to be using the strategy big 7 to divide 753 divided by 52. First, you can make like a graph of the of things of 52. I might have to do some math on adding. Okay. Oh, so you knew 10 groups of 52 was 520, so you kind of jumped ahead. Okay. Yeah. Then after you make this, you pick whichever one is closest to this. So I would pick 520. So I'd write 10 on the side and minus. So now you're saying 10 times 52 is 520, and now you're going to subtract it? Yeah. Okay. Now, I can't use these anymore, so I can cross them off. Because those are too big. Yeah. Because so, you know what? You can't do 10 more groups. All right. And then the closest one to it is 156. So now three groups of 52 is 156. to do some regrouping. Now I can't use this and this anymore, so I have to use 52. So you know you can do one more group, okay? Yeah. So the answer, you add, you add these up. Okay. Then the remainder is how many is left. So your answer would be 14 remainder 15. That would be your quotient. Yeah. Awesome work. Thanks for sharing. I'm going to show the method of short division. So three can go into five one time with a remainder of two. And then three can go into 24 eight times. And then Three can't go into two, so it's zero remainder two.
going to do lattice multiplication, and I'm multiplying, um, 12 and 24. So what you need to do is draw a window, and then draw three lines. On the window, which is from this and over here to here to here and all the way down here, so we still have some space. So then you're going to do two times two times two, and that's four. So you put a zero here and a four here. Then you do two times four, which is eight, and we're going to put the two times eight is eight. So I put the eight right here and the zero right here. So then I do one times two, which is two, and you put the zero here. Then you put one times four, which is four, and you put it right there. Then you add all of these up, so eight times nothing is eight. Four plus four is eight, because we don't really need the zero. And then zero plus two plus zero is two. And zero plus zero is zero. So that's 288. Is, is your actual product yeah. for 12 times 24? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thanks. I'm dividing 743 by 52. So 52 can't go into 7, so I put an X up there. And then you subtract 52 from 70, um, 740, which is, this would really be 520. So you can drop 3, and then, <coughs> sorry, and then four go, 2 goes into 4 twice. Four minus, sorry, I'm getting confused. I'm going to be showing you how to do the traditional method and multiplication. When you write your equation, you have to line your numbers up because it can get confusing. So five times four is 20. Put the zero and you carry the two. Five times nine is 45, but you have to add your two. So that would be 47. Then seven times four, seven starts in the tens place, so you have to put a zero to hold it. So seven times four would be 28. So eight, and you carry your two. Seven times nine is 63, but you always have to add the number that's up here. So 63, 64, 65. So 65. Then you have to add them, which would be zero. Eight times seven is 15. You carry your one. Five times four is Nine plus one is ten, so then you carry your one. Six plus one is seven, then you add your commas, and that is your product. Paige, <laughs> hey, you put a decimal.